Well, hello there. I'm Tanya Kolar. And I'm Peter Fona. Today, we're going to discuss how to not let people bother you. <laughs> you know, we can, we can be, um, you know, pushed and, and prodded and we react and we say things that we don't want to say because we really overreact essentially to other people's behaviors and or we take things personally. So we're really going to delve into how not to let others really affect you in a negative way. And I think ultimately, we really need to come to others with love and compassion. Really approach everyone with love and compassion, no matter what. If they're having a bad day, approach them with love and with compassion. And really, I think the best thing is to approach any situation, not out of what I can get from the situation, but more of what can I give in this moment? And if somebody is having this awful, horrible, negative day, or they're just having a really bad mood, so to speak, then send them that love and compassion and not worry about what can I get from this exchange? I think that really creates a lot of the problems when you come into a, a situation where you're always looking to see what is it that I can get from this? What do I want? And, and that could be as simple as a feeling, right? Feeling loved, feeling needed, um, or, or actually physically wanting something, right? Tangible. It doesn't matter. It's all kind of the same, right? The intent is the same. It's like, what's in it for me? But if you approach it from, what can I give? The, the love, the compassion, things will really change for you. And you won't be thrown into overdrive with your emotions, feeling that um, you know, you're, you're, you're attacked by others. Because I think we often feel that way, right? You, you kind of think, well, why did they say this? How could they say this? What are they thinking? Why did they do this to me, right? And so we get stuck in that space of feeling like a victim because of our needs. Of course, and when people react how they ever react, it's so important that we have our certain awareness about that. Eas we get easily infected by, by this energy and then we, we react and we not respond. And even if I was on a high level of frequency, um, it can happen on... Not, not me anymore, I used to do that, but then I, I left my frequency I, and I joined the other frequency. And, and being then on this other frequency, it doesn't feel comfortable at all. And I start fighting, I start arguing, I start, I, I start acting or reacting in a way I never ever want to do. So it's, very important and it's incredibly helpful to be aware what kind of person you want to be and how you want to behave and how you want to treat other people. So I decided recently when I, when I visit a, a client, uh, he has a company, a wonderful, amazing luxury company, and I decided when I, join, when I go to this company, I stay the whole time in love. I stay in love, I bring love, I mean the awareness love, of love. I am connected with the source of love. What happened then? So everything was, everything was much easier to talk about. People were easier connected with everything like that. The results were incredibly amazing. I just got the phone call a um, few minutes uh, before our show started. And, and, and the, the, the CEO of the company said, I'm so fulfilled what we achieved during that week. Yeah. And it's only because I made the decision, I stay in love, I give myself the value that I am love and I love myself and I'm so massive connected with love. And then we are able to change everything. And to change everything, I think, we are far, far away from a victimhood. We are in a, we were in such a creative time, in a creative time and a mode, and that was so wonderful. So when we, 
when we are in that in that state, just be aware how I want to be and not get infected of of other people's of, of other people's um, moods because. Yeah. As, as Tanya mentioned that before, we don't know the reason why they are in that mood, mm -hmm. but we can help them help them to go out to come out of that mood, and yes. then we can. And it doesn't cost me any cent to be in that wonderful state. Oh, I love that. Absolutely. And if we think about it, you know, moods are highly contagious, whether they be a good or bad, so to speak, you know, mood, they're highly contagious. And the one that is at the higher level is the one that's going to override, right? So we really want to raise our vibration again, you know, approach things with love and even the micro moments, the little moments that happen in life. Um, you know, it, this morning I was, I was, you know, uh, having a nice relaxing bath. I was doing my hair, shampooed my hair, went to put the conditioner in my hair. There's no conditioner. I thought, okay, well I could get frustrated and say, I have no conditioner or, or whatever. But I thought, okay, I'm just going to get out. I'm going to see if I have any conditioner anywhere. So went to, found, I did find a small little pack of conditioner. I don't know how it, how it got there. Maybe I manifested it. <laughs> you know, it probably came in the mail, maybe with a free something or other, but I was like, excellent. This is really great. I have conditioner. So get back in the tub, open this pack of conditioner. I was struggling with it. It was, it was like so um, hard to open. It, it had a little, you know, tiny little tag and I was trying to rip it open. Couldn't do it. I had to tear it with my teeth and I could just barely get it open. I was trying to squeeze it out. And I thought, well, this is really difficult. Right. And, and I, and I was starting to get a little bit frustrated in that moment. Right. And I was like, Oh, okay. Just, just, just relax. It's okay. If the conditioner is supposed to come out, then the conditioner is supposed to come out. <laughs> and it was so funny because as I was tearing this little plastic, um, packet, I literally peeled off one side. I was like, excellent. I've got it open, but I really only peeled the outer portion. So I had a, like an inner lining on the inside. So again, I continued and I thought, well, this is a really good lesson in, um, uh, you know, patience and perseverance, right? I thought, okay, this is great because, you know, there's something beautiful inside that can help me in this moment to do my hair. And if I'm, if I'm persistent enough, I can go ahead and do that. So for the extra few seconds, you know, a little, like a minute or two that it took me to open the conditioner, I was able to use it for my hair and my hair is nicely and conditioned in this moment. And I could have just said, okay, there's no conditioner, be frustrated, have my hair frizzy all day long. Um, but it's like, you have to just you know, settle into the moments and know that it's okay. I approach that situation with love and it's okay that I'm going to just let this moment be what it's going to be, but I'm also going to take action to see what I can do to facilitate that moment. And so that it can be the best that it can be. So everything is a choice. So that day, and we've all had those moments where it's one thing, it could be coffee for you in the morning or your toothbrush landed in the toilet or something other than conditioner, right? It could be anything for you that takes your mood to a completely different level because you let it, because you didn't come with love and compassion in the moment for what's happening and also for yourself. You have to have that love and compassion and extend that to yourself in your day. Is it really useful? only these little things when these little things happen that they that they really can infect you is that really useful and why do we want to give so much power in such little situations mm -hmm. isn't so i think I ju that just came into my mind and i think well how much power do i want to give in a, such a little situation mm -hmm. The more I love myself, the mm -hmm. more I'm in love myself, and I, the more I respect myself, the more patient I am, the more good I am to myself, and so on, and so on, and so on. And, and then I take the time to open this, this tricky thing, but I get the conditioner out of it, and I can do everything with love. I can yes. really do everything with love. And I tell you something, you will be much faster on the way when you do that with love. 
instead yeah. of, of of being frustrated and being fed up and being oh come on like, <laughs> like that that doesn't help at all that doesn't yeah. help at all yeah and in right. the end you will have by 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 any luck you will have the conditioner in the in the water and that doesn't <laughs> help you at all so just think yeah. about it is it worth it to treat yourself not with love or is it isn't it much better to love yourself and then you will change a lot in your life yeah you know it's so and, interesting mm -hmm. and um, sorry i want to add that you treat yourself in a wonderful way but you treat also other people in a wonderful way and you invite people they treat themselves in a wonderful way and what you are doing you're creating wonderful atmospheres with love and then just have a look how the whole situation how the whole life will change your life will be completely a different life when you are in love yes 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 it's a game changer you know be open to that love and be open to loving yourself and loving every moment you know and it's so interesting i gotta tell you that that conditioner in my hair <laughs> smelled so beautiful i have never heard of this conditioner before it was something black pepper it was it was literally black um and i thought oh well, maybe it's gonna turn my hair a color but let's see i'm gonna just be open to what's happening in this moment but it was so beautiful and i love it i was like wow this is really great um but he here's the interesting thing how you do the little things is how you do everything in life everything so pay attention to that because as simple as opening a little package of conditioner you know making your coffee in the morning and brushing your teeth uh, fixing your bed it's the it's exactly that energy that you're putting into those smaller things that is the energy that you're putting into everything else so pay attention to that. And you want to master the micro moments, master that feeling, uh, the good feelings and raising your vibration in those moments. Very important. And, and let me share something different. When you're in a, great, uh, in a grateful moment, when you're, in a, when you're grateful for everything, there is no place for being frustrated. Mm -hmm. There is no place for being, for being um, upset because being gr uh, grateful, that gives you another way of life. So just think about it. The more you're grateful, the less you're frustrated, the, 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 less you're, the, the less you're depressed and so on and so on, because there is not space enough to have both of them. Mm -hmm you know you choose where you want to place your vibration every moment is a choice we re we really want to choose our best reality you know every moment so that we can live the extraordinary life that we are meant to live and when you come from a situation of love and compassion and gratitude then you will not be bothered by other people and their reactions they're not going to set your emotions up here right on a small little situation that shouldn't be blown out of proportion right We're just going to be able to embrace the moment for what it is so just remember to come at things from love and compassion and uh you know raise your vibration keep that vibration strong and unfortunately we we're out of time for this video so we want to say thank you so much for tuning in and joining us we want to make sure that you don't let other people bother you throughout your day control your day <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your day enjoy your day and stay in love and see you next time thank you for watching us.